guys? I'm actually going to be doing a full review of my 2016 Tracker Pro Team 175 TXW. Uh, we're going to go from the front to the back, start on the outside, uh, go over the trailer, we'll hop inside, go over the gauges, all the uh, compartments, trolling motor, uh, engine, you know, everything like that. Uh, I'll tell you guys the pros and the cons, uh, stuff I like, stuff I really don't like, um, and go from there. You know, I've, I've, um, I've had this book for a couple months now, had it out about every weekend, I guess you could say. Um, and so far it's been doing good, so uh, I guess we'll start in the front here. Alright, we're going to start from the front here. The first thing I like is the um, this, this foldable tongue. I really do enjoy that. I like how it uh, gets out of the way because obviously, you can see where my garage ends there. I wouldn't have much room to walk around it, so thankfully I can fold this thing back. Nice and easy. Gets it by the way. Also, they thought to put a rubber pad here. So when you do hit it back, hits that rubber pad, it ain't going to damage it. Uh, it's got a good winch on it, strong. Good uh, good strap, safety strap as well. The hole, um, I'd like to say, is actually really strong. Uh, all welded aluminum uh, hole. It's uh, actually, the way they, the dealer explained it to me is it's a, like a V-hole, like a your normal bass boat, like a like a normal fiberglass bass boat and it goes flat down at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it. Lighting's probably horrible. But anyways, it cuts through the water really well. Um, something I don't like about this though is if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can, it kind of looks like it's wavy. And it's no, it's not like it's damaged, it's just where I guess where they welded the hole, uh, the aluminum's not perfectly straight. You know, it's it's not really an issue, it doesn't affect the boat at all, but it's just kind of a, a pet peeve of mine when I look at it and I see waves in it. Uh, aside from that though, you've got a good strong hull. Um, you can trust me when I say strong because I actually I took it up the boat out last night, uh, night fishing, and I hit a tree, if that says anything. <laughs> I hit a tree and no damage, no dents, no scratches, nothing. So it's actually been very, very good. Uh, the trailer pulls nice, uh, single axle, no brakes, uh, wheels are stylish, you know, looking good. Uh, diamond plate steps on the on the uh, wheels. You got your uh, guides on here on the side. Makes it really easy to do, uh, to load the boat. Does not have LED lights. Um, I don't think so. I don't think it has LED lights, uh, but still good enough. You got your quick straps on the back here. Uh, you can you can really take all these straps off. Um, you know, 30 seconds, you can have this boat unstrapped and ready to go in the water. Uh, this guy right here, you've got this little C-clip here. It holds on this rod that's, uh, you know, supporting your, your engine. Keep it from bouncing around your, uh, when you're on the road. Uh, very nice, easy, easy to maintain there and, and hang on to. Um, also, something with the, with the hull of this boat, if you'll notice, there's a step here. I know the lighting's probably horrible. I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys. There's a step here where the hole comes in and down and then back out to that V-shape. Now, the way this was explained to me is this creates a kind of a, a pocket under the water. And what it does is apparently lines up the water going to your engine, uh, basically sets it up better for your engine so you can get better acceleration, um, better handling, and all this other stuff. Um, also, with the handling, you'll notice... Let me take this off for you. The hole actually comes down and slants down. This right here will keep you from skidding. Um, I have got the boat to skid in a hard turn, but it does it does apparently help with the uh, with the skidding stuff. I'll get that later. Come on around here. Again, uh, you know, nice wheels, nice diamond plate. I do like that. Uh, you've got some, you know, LED lights and stuff that light up on the sides right here that look good. I don't like that it does not come standard with a spare tire. There is no spare tire that comes standard as an option, but it's just more money they want you to spend. So, I don't like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get in the boat and move topside here. All right, starting at the front. So you can see we've got a Minn Kota Edge trolling motor here. Pretty good trolling motor for the size of the boat. 
uh, 18 and a half foot boat length by the way uh, it's a 45 pound trolling motor it does okay I usually have to keep it on the three setting on the uh, on the foot pedal here about middle ways and it does fine um, on really windy days I've had to put it up to four um, but that's about it I haven't had any trouble with it holding the boat still or you know I haven't had to hold it wide open just to keep the boat in one spot so it does okay for the size of the boat uh, one thing I don't like about it though and I'm sure it's an easy fix that I can figure out, but uh, this arrow in the middle of the night, you can't see. And I think it'd be pretty neat if you could get a glow-in-the-dark arrow, something that kind of lights up when you hit the button, or it just glows constantly, so you can kind of see which uh, which which way you're pointing. Because if you're like, if you've got the arrow pointing hard left and you want to go hard right, and you just hit the button, you know, and you're not ready for it, you could accidentally dump someone in the water uh, you do have your tilt switches up here in the front very nice uh, if you get in some uh, some very shallow stuff want to raise the engine up from the front you can do that without having to, without having to go to the cockpit uh, removable plug for your for your uh, pedal here got a cup holder a couple of knife holders I don't know why you would ever need any of this stuff here I mean I guess you could but like my knife here doesn't really work out as you can see so I just keep it in the cup holder moving on back here oh and this this harness here um, it's kind of kind of rigged up so don't make too much fun of me this is for a LED light bar that I have uh, posted up on the front when I go when I go out at night and I just type the harness and tuck it in here very easy to uh, to hook up and I'll go over that once we get to the cockpit um, the seats here pretty comfortable seats a little stiff at first, um, but you know they get broken pretty good. Uh, nice trim here, three colors. Uh, stitching all seems really good. I like them. Spill, uh, swivel around pretty good. Pretty comfortable. I like them. Um, your your rod holder here, your tie down. Not a huge fan of this. Um, I, I prefer just just something different. Basically, the problem I have with this, you know, you're limited to just that much space which as you can see my hand it's not a whole lot of space especially if you have you know five or six rods up here or if you have two guys this is your only rod holder otherwise you got to put them in the box which I'm not saying it's a bad thing but sometimes you just want to throw them up here strap them down and go get your next spot quick I would like one of those kind that roll up in the side of the the side here and just fold out and hook in to the bottom also when I'm up here fishing I like to use the entirety of the deck. I like to use all of it. That sucks to step on with your with your heel in the middle of the night, especially because I fish barefoot a lot. Um, that sucks to step on. It kind of hurts. Also, in the middle of the heat of the day, uh, it gets hot. I think it's hot. So stepping on that hurts. It's not very good. Moving on back here. You do have three compartments for storage in the front. Um, I keep tackle on this one. It's not really a tackle box. That's what I keep my tackle in. Uh, it's a mess right now, so I just got done fishing today, actually. Plenty of storage. Um, quite a big amount of space in here. Also, you'll notice the uh, the channels here in a little hole. It's a drain tube, so it's a dry box. Basically, if you're in here and it comes pouring down, pouring down rain, water travels in here through that tube and into the hole, so you can drain that with your bilge pump later on. Um, I have been rained on hard, hard with this with this boat, and it did well. I did open this up, and there this was full of water, and it was draining out of the tube. It did great. Everything in here was bone dry, so I did like that. On this side, same exact setup, same exact box. I just keep my anchor rope, anchor, you know, my tie-off ropes, life jackets, and buoys and stuff like that in there. Uh, but again, you got the channel, you got the tube. It's the same exact size box. I think they could have extended it up towards the front a little more and gave you a little more space, a little more storage, but you know, no big deal. Also, they could have put a rod holder down here, but with no space down here, I guess it's not a very good thing. So that's the front two storage boxes. Um, I'm going to go on to the, set my phone down, I'm going to go on to the rod box here, which I kind of like this, um, hydraulic lift on it. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna touch it. Um, also, a dry box. As you can see, it's got the channels. Um, there's no drain in here. It just channels it out and goes straight to the floor, which you've got your 
you've got your drain right there in the middle. Um, it holds up to eight and a half foot rod uh, in the center. Um, you get six and a half on the side. You can hold six, six and a half, two, seven and a half on the top, and then as I guess as many eight and a half as you can fit, which probably isn't a lot. Um, it does have a nice little light storage here in the bottom for your front, uh, your front navigation light. It's also got storage here for your rear navigation light, although the lockdown for it doesn't really work very well. Uh, they supply you with an oar or a paddle, whatever you want to call it, uh, which just kind of lays in there. It kind of sucks. Uh, you got your seat rods laying in here as well. I don't like how they just kind of roll around. Kind of sucks. Uh, and also, none of these compartments are lit. So what I did was I got I went to the store, got some of these LED lights, just push lights, um, and put in all the boxes. So it makes it a lot better to use. Also, easy storage. Everything locks down pretty good. We'll go from there. Uh, on your console here, it's all a molded one piece. It's all plastic. Uh, I think they said it's aluminum reinforced. Uh, one piece console. As you can see, there's no seams all the way around. One piece. All the way to behind the seat there. Um, you do have a light here. Pretty nifty. Uh, comes in hand pretty well if you catch fish in the middle of the night. You need to see to get them unhooked. You can just put them down here, smack that light real fast, get them unhooked real easy, and keep fishing. Uh, moving to the cockpit here. You've got your uh, RPM gauge, fuel volts, mop per hour. Everything works pretty well. Um, I've noticed when the when the boat's off, sometimes your gauges will stick. Mostly the, the RPM gauge, but sometimes the the uh, gauges will stick, and they won't go down until you actually turn the key on. And then you can turn the key back off and they'll go back. As you can see, kind of weird. Not sure why it does that. Um, it works perfectly fine when you're driving the boat but it's just kind of kind of weird uh, as you can see you've got your uh, on off off run start uh, key switch here bilge pump uh, nav light and anchor lights uh, you've got a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter style thing you can charge your phone uh, charge your spotlight whatever you want to put in there here are your live well switches um, it's it's a very it seems kind of complicated at first if you don't know anything about it um, your top here is just a fill and aerate as you can see it's it might be a little hard to see this. Um, you can put it on timer, so it, it fills it up with the aerator and then it shuts off. Uh, and then I don't know how, I don't know what the time set is, but it'll sit there and just run every few minutes. It'll come on. You can hear it kicking on, or you can turn it down to continuous where it just doesn't stop. Um, it'll just keep filling it up until it hits the overflow and it'll pop it out of the back of the boat um, and just keep kind of recirculating. Or you can do a recirc and aerate uh, on a timer where it pulls old water out of the live well, uh, pulls old water out of the live well, puts new water in, and it's aerating at the same time. Uh, I, I really like this feature because the fish that are in there um, constantly get fresh water in there, they get fresh uh, aeration, they, they stay alive much better. And it also has the pump out feature, which all you do is just, you uh, well, hit the button down, hear the motor running, you can go. Um, the pump out feature is, is kind of different though, because there's a, I'll, I'll show you here in a second. I'll just go ahead and show you now. There's a valve here in the back. To pump it out, you've actually got to pull this red valve out, and it pumps out all the fluid, push it in, and it puts fluid in. I guess there's a, a valve system behind here. Out, pulling out, pumps the water out, pushing it in, pumps the water in. Your overflow, you know, you got your little thing here, and then this, this right here, it's, I know it's probably impossible to see. This um, is your drain into the into the hole, and here's a fill. I don't know how that adjusts. I really don't understand that. Got your separator if you need that. 19-gallon uh, live well, not huge, but uh, for me at least, plenty enough. Also, you got your reinforced reinforced uh, lid, so if you step on it, it's not going to bend or anything like that. Um, and it's got it's got uh, instructions for your pump out feature as well, like that. Um, another awesome feature about this boat that I absolutely love is the accessory switch here. Accessory switch, this is what I ran my um, aftermarket lights on. I've got some UV lights that I put on the side of the boat uh, that hit them down. As you can see, a lot hard to see, I don't know, but it lights up the uh, UV lights on the side. And then if I click it up, um, my LED light bar on the front lights up. This switch is not 
factory. This is a two position switch that I installed. Uh, from the factory it comes with a one position switch, just an off or on. Um, they, they actually ran power and ground to the switch for you. So all you had to do was just plug in whatever you want your accessory to be to the switch. Uh, you don't have to run any wires to the battery or fuse box, nothing like that. You literally just plug it into the switch and you're good to go. Um, but I replaced it with a two position switch just because I wanted, I wanted two different, uh, two different lights. The steering wheel is nice. Nice little tracker logo here in the middle. Kind of dirty. It's been, uh, out and it's kind of weird. I never noticed how that moved. That moves around apparently. Whatever. So looks good. Feels nice. Uh, steers really good. Nice and smooth. Um, very nice, good size grips for me at least. Get your little thumb indentions here. Just hold your thumb on it. Uh, pretty comfortable steering wheel. Uh, the boat comes with a uh, Lawrence Elite 3X depth finder. Um, it's it's a pretty nice depth finder for what it is, I guess. Um, all color, you know, it tells you temperature, voltage. Uh, you can go through and hit your sensitivity range. You know, just your average, average stuff. Um, go through there. You can zoom, whatever you want to do. Uh, I don't know what all the buttons do. Honestly, I haven't even played with it. Um, on this one, I just have to recommend just doing the auto feature. It does a pretty good job of, of, of you know, it just it does good for what it is. Um, but you can't expect a whole lot out of it, uh, just being that it's a small, cheap unit. Um, you're not going to get anything crazy out of it. Um, but it, it does well overall. Uh, you got your trim here, obviously, shifter. Push the button here to get your um, free revs if you want. Shifter runs good. Um, it's very smooth, uh, you know, no issues there, safety switch on the bottom. You've got your, um, your kill, kill switch here. I don't like that this is all it comes with, it's just a little hook. I think it needs to have some kind of bracelet or something that you can also put on there if you want, because I know that a lot of life jackets come with little loops on them that you can hook this into, but I don't always ride with a life jacket, and I wouldn't, I would prefer to have something I can put on my wrist that way I can ride and not have to worry about either leaving this off or just trying to like hook it to my pants or something like that it's kind of an inconvenience uh, so not really a fan of that so we're gonna move to the under seat storage so we've got three seats obviously seats three um, comfortably you can seat four people in here but it's pretty packed because one person has to sit here on the floor not that great. Uh, under seat, this lifts up. You know, so I keep my light bar, strobe light, some hand sanitizer because you got to keep it clean. Uh, you got your um, oh shit, fire extinguisher. Uh, it, it it's all this is this is included. It comes with a mount, all that. You get some storage under here, pretty deep. I want to say six inches deep maybe, and then it goes back under here a little bit as well, as you can see middle seat this actually folds down it's kind of squeaky right now I guess I need to oil it this is a step if you want to step into the back that way you don't destroy the seat um, stepping in it because when you know as you know if you step in the seats to get back and forth um, eventually you will rip that seam so they've let this fold down put a sturdy, sturdy plastic on it you can step on this to get in the back works great fold the seat up I got some trash in here apparently this is where I keep my uh, throwable cushion. Uh, got my books on it. More storage. Goes back that way a little bit. Um, ooh, a penny. Cool. Put that back in there. Um, I don't like how the I don't like how the the hole is kind of like small, but I guess it has to be that big so your seat can have something to sit on. I guess. One thing I don't like is that this seat doesn't come up. Um, I asked the, the dealership why, uh, why does it not there? He said, you know, they, they don't know. It used to have storage in the older models, but now it doesn't come up and it's just foam. So there's just unused space under that seat. Not a huge fan of that. I think that kind of sucks. Oh, you also get uh, two cup holders, a useless grab handle. I don't know why you'd ever need that. Two cup holders here and they work pretty well. Hold that one of the bigger Gatorade bottles. I like that. And you're gonna really flimsy drain. As you can see, I can just fold that thing. And I, I got to thinking about that. I thought they should have put a metal one in here. But once I, I use the boat in the middle of the day, 
like everything gets super hot you know obviously in the middle of the day it's a hot summer day it's like these hinges here your lockdowns everything gets hot if this was metal this is where you got your feet at most of the time while you're traveling this would burn the crap out of you so i see why they made it plastic i don't like how it's so flimsy i feel like i'm going to put my foot through that one day because when you step off of here you step down that's my my heel usually hits that and I feel like I'm gonna go through it. Move on to the back here. Got another seat. Um, one thing I actually noticed yesterday about this seat is, hang on a second, let me set this camera down. If you pull the seat up, you'll notice on the bottom of the seat is threaded. There's actually a plastic piece that goes on the bottom of the seat. Um, if you're wondering where it's at, it's down there it's stuck in the hole so I can't use the seat pole on the rear here to you know raise the seat up because that plastic piece is, piece is actually stuck down in there so I might have to get with the uh, warranty on that trying to get that removed and get a new piece put on the seat but being a couple months old I think that kinda kinda sucks I'll kinda leave this out a little bit so I can show you the battery box you got two storage compartments and you've got your battery compartment back here as well storage compartments are pretty decent size and here I keep an extra case of oil some fuel treatment um, they hold I think three Plano boxes not sure on the exact size that they hold but I know it's three Plano boxes it can hold I'm not sure on the exact size though um, this side I actually use it's a little wet down there I actually use it as a cooler um, and this has got to be the best cooler I've ever used in my entire life. I'm assuming that it's it's uh, very insulated to keep your tackle from melting or getting overheated and damaged. So it makes for a great cooler. You can put ice in there, put drinks in there, um, all the water drains. It is a, it's got a hole in the bottom that drains into the hole. So all your water drains into the hole. Super easy cleanup. Works awesome as a cooler. In here, got my extension cord for when I want to plug the, uh, the boat up, charge the batteries. Uh, 21 and a half gallon fuel tank. Very good on gas. Um, on the weekend, one whole weekend, I'll usually use about a half tank. Uh, and that's ripping and running pretty good. Um, all day and all night, I'm, I'm usually on this thing going quick. Uh, it comes with two batteries. I think there's room for a third in there, a smaller one maybe. Uh, you can put a third battery in there. Uh, you have an onboard charger, as you can see. Uh, it charges both batteries at the same time. One's for the trolling motor, just the trolling motor, and the other one's for all your accessories and your starting battery. Um, I asked the, the dealership, you know, how long does a trolling motor battery last on this boat? I want to know how, how many hours I can use the trolling motor battery before I need a, new, uh, need a new charge on it. He told me six hours. I didn't really like the six hours. I thought that was kind of weak for a trolling motor battery, so I decided to put it to the test. Um, and I charged it up all night, the night before I, I left. And let me turn this off here. This is kind of hard to turn off sometimes. Make sure it turns off. There it goes. Um, charged it up all night, the night before. And it turned out that I could use the troll motor, uh, let's see, Friday night, Saturday during the day, Saturday night, and Sunday during the day. Still didn't need to charge. It did great. Didn't slow down. Did awesome. So... Very impressed with the uh, the trolling motor battery life on this boat. All right, unless we get the uh, the engine here, I got the standard 60 horsepower Mercury four-stroke engine here. Um, starts up every single time. Very very fast. I love it. It's it's four-stroke, which is just awesome. You don't have to worry about mixing gas, none of that junk. It does just it does great. Also, you've got your your trim here in the back. So when you're installing your uh, brace on the bottom, you just shoot a trim right here. Very easy, very convenient. The propeller, it could probably use a stainless. You might get a little bit more mile per hour out of it. Um, right now, I think my top speed has been like 38, 39 mile an hour, and that's wide open, trimmed up, like everything it's got. Um, so it's kind of slow, but it does okay for, for what it is. Uh, you can't, can't really complain too much. Uh, you know, like I said, four stroke, it does great, starts up every time, very reliable, doesn't smoke, super quiet, very smooth. I love this engine, I love it. I just, 
I wouldn't complain if it had a little more power to it. But being how you know, being how expensive they are, you're limited to a 75 horsepower on this on this boat to be to begin with. Um, I'm sure you could get it without an engine and put your own on it, but being you know a small aluminum boat, I, I wouldn't recommend going too much. Maybe a 115. Uh, if you start putting like a 175 or something on it, it might get a little ridiculous and super dangerous. So can't really recommend that um, for you. You might be wondering what these cords are here. These cords are actually my LED light strips for my UV lights on the side. Actually, kind of coming unstuck here a little bit. I need to get those restuck. Get some sticky stuff on there. But uh, this is what I ran up to my to my switch on the dashboard. But uh, you, you know, this thing comes with a uh, lifetime warranty on the floor. It does have a wood floor in it, so it doesn't sound as like tin can ish when you. When you go down the water, it, it actually kind of muffles it out a little bit, a little more insulation. Wood floor, um, pretty solid. Lifetime warranty. If anything ever happens, uh, Tracker will replace it. Um, I'm not sure if the warranties are the same for everywhere, but my warranty covers, um, you know, front to back, anything. Anything that happens, boat or trailer, any kind of damage. If I cut the carpet, the seam busts on the seat, anything uh, in the first five years, um, it's replaced. You know, five year warranty front to back, anything that happens. I've got three years on the engine, uh, depth finder for some reason, I guess, and the trolling motor, anything that happens with those in the first three years, uh, they're also replaced. But being the four stroke, I don't think I'm gonna have too many problems out of this thing. Um, it seems to be doing pretty, pretty well. But overall, I like the boat. Um, it does well for me. It, it's, it's, it's not bad. The black color, I mean, I chose black because I thought it looked sleek, looked good, and they had it in stock. I could just go ahead and take the boat that day. Um, the only other color it comes in is red. So, not, not I don't know, not sure if I've been a better fan of red. Uh, I know that the black does show some scratches a little more. Um, but being a all powder coated uh, hull, that it doesn't scratch very easily obviously because like I said I've been hitting trees and stuff I mean I've been running over all kinds of stuff um, in a nasty lake and like as you can see no scratches no damage does great but still on the top you can see some scratches here and there where I have hit hit like accidentally dropped my light right here as you can see a couple little scratches nothing crazy but uh, Red or black is your only choice in color. I chose black because I think it looks sleek, looks good, and they had it in stock so I could take it home that day. And I really, really, really wanted this boat. Um, I think prices start on this boat at, it's, what is it, 15.7 or 15.9? Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't think you can go to anywhere else and just find a better price on this new boat. Uh, I think Tracker sets the price on these boats and the dealerships just have to sell them at Tracker's price. Uh, as far as I was told, at least, uh, not really. you can't really negotiate on the price on this thing. That may vary dealer to dealer, but as far as my dealership went, um, there's no negotiation. The price is set from Tracker at, I think it was 15.9 um, before tax title license and all that. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, comfortable boat, seats, I mean, it does, I've had four people in here a lot and it does well. It takes a while to get on top of the water with four people. You've got a whole lot of extra weight, um, but just me, uh, maybe a co-angler, uh, it does very good getting on top of the water. It, like I said, it'll do almost 40 mile an hour, which is it's plenty for me. I mean, I don't need to go 100 miles an hour down the lake um, because the way I see it, a faster boat doesn't catch more fish. So overall, I liked it very well. Um, if you guys have any questions, just, just leave it in the comments here. I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them for you. Um, if I get a whole lot of questions on one subject, I can go over that and make, maybe make a new video for you guys. Um, so I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Also, uh, I'm starting up this new channel here with this boat review, and I think I'm going to do a little, uh, some video logs, do a lot of fishing uh, ponds, lakes, stuff like that. And uh, we'll be doing some, some vlogs, maybe some instructional stuff. Maybe I can teach you guys something, and hopefully you guys can teach me something to catch some more fish, because we all want to catch more fish, right? So uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, I'm glad, uh, glad to be of service 
if this was the uh, the turning point for you guys to go out and buy one of these new boats. Um, but like I said, highly recommended. Very nice boat. Can't can't recommend it enough. Brand new. Does great. Easy, easy to buy. They made it super easy on me. Also, I'm not gonna lie. If you get this boat, they give you a special, special gift. Mm, right here. Glasses on the floor and a tracker hat. This is a very expensive hat. Best hat ever. As you can probably see, I had a hat tan where I wear this hat all the time. Loving this hat. Came with the boat. Sold me with the hat. They sold me with the hat. Uh, can't do much. Can't do. Can't do much without it. You know. It's a. It's a, it's a tracker hat. It's a tracker hat. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Make sure you share it with all your friends. If you know anyone who's looking to buy one of these boats uh, or one of the competitors, I hope this is a, uh, a turning point for you guys. Maybe, you know, show you uh, the different directions you can go. Because I personally was actually looking at the low, one, uh, let's see, what was it? It was a low boat, 175, and I accidentally, accidentally kind of stumbled upon this and ended up buying this one just because I liked it so much more. If it what I needed so much more. So uh, don't forget to shop around, you guys, when you're when you're going to buy a new boat, because you never know uh, you never know what you might run into, because you might be set on something, and then all of a sudden you find what you like. So, like I said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment below if you guys have any questions, anything like that, um, anything you want me to go over, or anything you want to see in the future. I mean, if you want to see me do some more reviews over stuff, maybe some tackle, uh, you know, equipment, whatever. Uh, if you want me to do some uh, some videos over, you know, how I installed my light bar or how I installed my lights on the side, um, I can uh, leave you guys links in the description uh, where I got all my lights from. Uh, show you guys, and I can show you guys how to install them if you want me to make a video on that. But, uh, again, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.